wacky. Um, I mean to tell you something for a little while. Yeah, what is it? Remember that deal I made, like, 20 years ago, um, to Clownzilla? You know, the leader of the killer clowns from our space. No, I think I'm gonna need a refresher for that. Um, can you remind me again what the deal was you made with that, with Clownzilla 20 years ago? <sighs> fine. So, when Roxanne was only a baby pup, um, after I basically adopted her, um, Clownzilla saw her when she was just a little pup, and she saw me nearby, and he said, if I, if I let her marry Roxanne, that, um, I would, would not be any in trouble in the future. And then when Wolfie came by and married her, my life's been nothing but a living heck. So, yeah, I'm basically in a pickle now, because I haven't told Roxanne the deal that I made to when she was only a baby. <laughs> Ugh. I always beat myself up every time I think about it. Have you told, like, Charlotte or anything? What would you want me to tell her? You would want me to tell her that I made a deal with an alien clown 20 years ago about, about our daughter being married to an alien clown. Now, how does that make sense, Wacky? Okay? I am the only one who actually does something around <laughs> with the family, alright? I don't hear from Lolax anymore because I don't know what the heck he's even doing. Roxanne's busy with her pups. And if Clownzilla finds out she had babies, I'm gonna be dead. Well, uh, I know you're an old man now, but things are different now in 2022. Uh, I think you should just tell Roxanne the truth. Tell her? Tell her. Uh, this is gonna be the worst thing I would ever say. But I know she's probably not gonna trust me ever again with picking out her mates. Ugh. This was the worst mistake of my life. Wacky. You're lucky you don't have children, and you would understand well, all the pain that I have to go through every day. Charlie, we all know basically what you're trying to do. You're trying to cover up what you did over 20 years ago, but I think it's time to listen to your gut and actually do something about it. Even if you do die, we will all remember you as the famous clown who changed the life forever, especially for Halloween. So basically, just tell her, tell Roxanne that she needs to do that to order for you to survive, okay? Now, if you excuse me, I need to go back to cleaning my hammer. I have important business to deal with Freddy Fazbear later. Uh, you're right. Even though she's probably not gonna want to do it, but it's the only way for keeping me from dying. I don't want to be turned into cotton candy. I know you're gonna be going, so, um... I'm just going to, like, head out in a little bit, go back to nursing home, uh, see you around, Wacky.